This is for a 1967 Topps Baseball 4th Series Cellar Pack number 2. Number 2. Uh, good luck to Kevin, Tim, Dominic, Todd, John, Ted, Hugh, uh, Todd again, and Jim Chu. Good luck, guys. Here we go. Uh, hey, late. You're supposed to get like, hey, late. Yeah, I can't do that. Huh? Hey, late. Hey, late. Yeah. We're calling you like Mikey was. Seven on the roll. Hey, late. It's time for you to break the case. Oh, I wanted to open the pack. I just wanted to uh, finalize the next uh, thing. Um, okay, so I'm going to randomize it for you. Great. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, there's the list. Okay. Claude Austin. Very nice. Uh, that's good. According to this, it's snowing outside. I don't know. It, is it? I don't know. I'm going to look. Alright. The old pliers. Uh, <laughs> got the goggles for Layton. <laughs> yeah, but I can't do it like Mikey. Mikey has that, you know, that he has a down packed. I don't. I can't yell out loud. Um, my throat already hurts anyway. So, uh, all right. So, they is going to come on right now to break the pack. I'm going to pause the recording real quick. Yeah. Okay, guys. Here we go. Lane's going to break the pack. Sorry to type that. Thanks for being patient, everyone. I appreciate it. We were trying to uh, line up doing it on Facebook Live on Sports Collectors Daily. Uh, it's owned by my good buddy, Rich Miller. And um, it really is the place that I check at least a couple times a day for hobby news uh, and notes. You know, anything from manufacturers to did an auction house sell something for big money, was something found, uh, so on and so forth. So we are going to goggle up. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. Where is the screwdriver? So we are going to uh, crack the pack open. We already have the order. Good luck to you, John, Jim, Tim, Todd, Dom, and Ted and Kev. And a couple of you have a couple spots. Hey, Jonathan, how are you? What's up, Mark? Well, you want to tell them which, which card is first? Oh, sure. That's going to be the first card. That is going to be the first Yep, okay. the 11th card will be just underneath the pinup. Okay. Uh, in the event that there's only 10 cards plus the pinup, mm -hmm. uh, we will give a refund to the 11th spot. In the event that there's 12 cards plus the pinup, we will give out the 11 cards in the order. Mm -hmm. The 12th card and the pinup would be extra and random. All right. Okay. Great. All right. So we're going to uh, open this bad boy up. Johnny Five has been awesome. By day, he wears uh, Just Collect cap, and we've been just dealing with an incredible amount of leads. So many, in fact, proud to say that uh, Johnny Five is helping us advance uh, our company. And we were, um, we've been using Insightly, but it's not robust enough uh, to manage our leads. So we're about to sign a contract with Salesforce uh, for a few licenses uh, so that we can keep track of our information uh, even that much um, better, as well as uh, have great access to it you know, on your mobile and have it be integrated and all that kind of good stuff. All right. Um, now I realize Johnny Five has glasses on. Oh, Doug has glasses on too, because this is definitely like this is how I do it. You know, I didn't learn. Mikey's all fancy. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this up here, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Mikey's fancy. <laughs> well, that's good to hear, Mark. Wow, that one I literally just took off like a big chunk. Layton definitely gets to being this. You'll shoot your eye out with this stuff. 
Tum, tum, tum. Getting a little leverage. Hmm. Here we have. Doctor's gonna have to take off his glasses. Okay. Put that aside. Let's see where we're at with this. I'm mean, John. I'm glad that uh, this is not something that we did live on Sports Collectors Daily. You know who would like to do this is my son. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't be as patient, though. He'd probably start sleeping. No, he already, uh, like when Grandpa comes over to help, uh -huh. uh, he's pretty handy. Um, he, he's got, I got some great photos of him. Oh. I really did just hit you, didn't oh, I? Oh, you told, it totally just bounced up. Right. <laughs> I think that we may have what we need. Great. And there we go. Hmm. Trying to be extra careful, as I know what spots cost in this. Appreciate everyone being patient. I'm glad, J5, that we did not torture sports lectures daily. A little bit of a puzzle here, J5. But patience, we will prevail, I have no doubt. Hmm. Didn't go as smoothly as I would have liked. Alright, so let's see. I gotta tell you, kudos to Mikey. Might just be a bro. Mikey's the surgeon, so. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna, there we go. I'm not going to use any more tools at this point. Beautiful. All right, so yeah, let's I'll clean up our. What did I say? Yeah, we'll clean up first before I turn. I'm we'll sorry? Clean up the mat first. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just so want to keep that on camera. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. Thanks for everyone's patience. Patience, apparently, I'm a little out of practice. All right. Very excited to open this. <clears throat> there we go. Thanks, everyone, for telling me to be careful. Yeah, I realized well, I took the specs off because I wanted a closer view. I don't want any problems. That was uh, a little bit more of a challenge than I thought. Good to go? Good. Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Leighton from Vintage Breaks. Thanks, Rich from Sports Selectors Daily, for letting us broadcast live from the 459. We are about to open this mini time capsule from 1967 Topps Baseball. It's a fourth series cello pack, 11 cards, plus a pinup, which, by the way, PSA now grades those. These, uh, this pack was listed at VintageBreaks.com today. For $165 per entry, we are about to open it live. It is now sold out. And like the WWF used to advertise, it's the main event for tonight. Yes. Very excited. All right. Uh, no, Mantle is not possible, but who is possible is Lou Brock, Yaz, Fergie, Bob Euchre, Jim Cott, the Twin Terrors card with Harmon Killebrew, Johnny Padres, it's a loaded series. Very excited to get started. Good luck, everybody. Hey, what's up, Ramon? How are you, bud? Yep, he's stuck somewhere in some snow just north of the city. For those of you on Sports Selectors Daily watching us, thanks for joining us. We'll be live tonight till 11 p.m. We have some fantastic promos running this week. J5, you want to show them this uh, Ty Cobb T206 that we're giving away? 
Uh, for those of you just joining us on Sports Collectors Daily, we did just bust this out of a PSA holder. We spared you from having to watch me do that. <clears throat> Hope all is well out there, boys, and everyone is enjoying. I was a little, little stressed on the uh, actual pack opening itself. Maybe I'll have to go to Mikey's school of opening. Uh, do I know how much the card is worth in this card? Uh, it's about a thousand-ish dollar card. Probably a little bit more. Carcero's over. Yep. This is the original cellophane. It came in 1967. All right. Let's get down to it. Good luck, everybody. Thanks so much for making this possible. Really appreciate it. Claude Osteen. Card number one is going out to you. Nice card as we saw the centering from the top of the solo pack. Let me get it right on cam here. And then J5, help us show our fans from Sports Selectors Daily. Sports Selectors Daily fans, if you are interested, we're running a promo right now. Spend $10 at VintageBreaks.com. Get into a winner take all. If you want to learn more about that, stay tuned afterwards on YouTube.com slash Vintage Breaks. And if you like what we do, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. This is card number two, unfortunately is off-centered. Jim Cott, fourth series checklist. Card number three, Jim Hannon. This is a 1967 Topps fourth series baseball solo pack. Jim, this is your card. <clears throat> Card number four, Mr. Tovar from the Twins. Very sharp, unfortunately a little bit off-centered. But nonetheless, Pack Fresh Beauty from 67. Love to have the, uh, the higher number series where you can get a potentially a Carew or a Siva <clears throat> rookie. That would be unbelievable. Chico Cardenas. His rookie was in the, uh, I believe, 1960. Was a very popular player. Was a solid ball player. Great. Grady Hatton. I have to admit, I do not remember that he. Uh, who? Ooh. See who's coming up here. Mm -hmm. Not a Hall of Famer, but very popular. The Uke coming up next. This is number six. Tim H was saying can't see the names. Not sure what he means. Uh, like the name should be visible, right? Okay, uh, can't do the names. But just uh, one person said that. Oh, right. Never mind, that was me. <laughs> he just wrote that. Oh, no, no. I'll no. make sure we can help him out. Okay. Uh, okay. There you go. Great, so that's card six. That was going out to you as well, you. Um, John A, coming up here, you got a nice card. Bob Euchre. Very sharp. Little, little off center left to right. Very nice card. Just a bit off center. Just a bit off center. That's not bad. Major, major League No. Center is not bad. No. Could have gone pro with that. Just a bit off center. Good old Major League reference. Yeah. Good? Yeah, I want to make sure everyone can see it. It's great. J5, how many folks we have uh, hanging with us in Sports Selectors Daily? About 165 people. That's great. We really appreciate everyone joining us. Once again, you want to fire on over to YouTube.com slash Vintage Breaks afterwards. Got some great specials running, not only tonight till 11, but we're broadcasting every night. Tonight, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. Spot 8, this is you, Dom. Hope you are staying warm in front of the fire this evening. Spot 9, Jose Pagan. Well, there we go. A minor star coming up. Tresh was a very good Yankee. Jose Pagan, card number 9. Great color and gloss. Once again, just a little bit off-center. This is going out to you, Todd D. Right. Last couple cards in the pack. Then we have the pinup, of course. Tom Tresh. I mean, this is just a beauty. 
Unfortunately, a little bit off-center top to bottom. It looks like a 9 OC. But if you were a Yankee fan, especially of that time period, he was a great ball player. So this set is known for the off-center. Yes. Yeah, 67s are tough to find uh, centered. Um, but they do come centered. I mean, you can check out the pop report for the PSA, uh, for the 67 set on PSACard.com, John. Mm -hmm. And you can see, I mean, there's, you know, nines and I would say nines for almost every card. Tens, I'm not sure I'd have to check. Um, that being said, we're opening up 11 cards. And how many did they produce? You know, millions. So uh, it is a little bit the luck of the draw. But nonetheless, you did get some, or we did get some sharp cards. And I'm hoping if we get lucky, there'll be a mantle pinup uh, as PSA does grade those. I mean, this card looks great, John. Just a little bit off center. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was 11 cards. Glad that we uh, got that accurately um, uh, for everyone out there. So this is going to be the pinup, John. We're going to random. There's oh, two pinups? That's interesting. <laughs> that's really cool. So there's two pinups. We're going to random both. One and two, basically, like number one. Yes, basically. number one and two. So the top two names after we random it will get the pinups. This is number one pinup. Chico Cardenas. I'm just going to fold it back up and put it into a card saver and put it not number one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's show uh, Sports Selectors Daily. So Sports Selectors Daily fans, this is one of the pinups. It actually came with two pinups in the pack, which is really neat. See, Richie, you never know. I told you. We had a 1961 top cello pack, Johnny Five. Remember that? Mm -hmm. It was a cello pack, 61 tops, only 12 cards. There was a Whitey Ford on top. Whitey Ford, I believe, was on bottom. We got a Whitey Ford in the middle of the pack. Pack was graded by PSA. Triple Whitey Ford pack. Still talk about it. All right, so this is going to be pinup number one, John. Okay. Let me get that in the card saver. Put it on post it there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we use card savers. Ones. Uh, what was asking? It's a, it's a plastic holder. You can buy them cardboard gold. Yeah, yeah I love these too uh, as well, Mike. I've actually graded these in the last couple of years and done very well candidly selling them. Uh, so this looks like a really nice one, meaning the centering is there. Uh, and I, I have no doubt people have this set on the registry. Uh, these were very desirable um, uh, by kids back in the day. Think about it, right? If you just got a card in the pack, and all of a sudden, John, you got a mantle that was like three times the size of your card, you would take a thumbtack, put it right in your wall. That's why they're hard to find in high grade. All right, so that's pinup number 2J5. Let's um, randomize. All right, so that's number two. So number one and two. I'm going to roll the dice, right? All right. This is to randomize a list, um, folks, for those of you not familiar with the process. We roll the three. We're going to randomize the list three times, and the person on top will win the uh, first uh, pinup, and the next person will get the second pinup. Go. Good luck. One, two, two three. Okay, John A, you get number one, and you, you get number two. You, you, number two, awesome. Well, Sports Selector Daily fans, thanks so much for joining us. Rich, as always, we very much appreciate it. Please, if you'd like to continue watching us break and have fun opening packs, we'll be doing so till tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern Time on YouTube.com slash Vintage Breaks, as well as breaking tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. Do not miss out. We're giving away a Ty Cobb this week, as well as thousands of dollars in other prizes. Thanks for hanging with us. All right, Johnny Five, you want to uh, take over on here, and I'll put that up on uh, Facebook? Yep. Let me just finish the advisor. Just a bit outside of the top two. I'm going to post it, right? Just post it right now. Uh, yeah. Let me just see. Uh, it's ready to post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Great. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Battery still hasn't got charged. Yep, got a charge. Got a charge. Uh, <clears throat> All right, guys. That is the 67 Tops Baseball 4 Series Cell Pack number 